if you face some problem with your heart that means your whole body is unstable because oxygen that we inhale through our nose by the help of our lungs is being carried forward throughout all the parts of our body by the help of our heart so it is very important to maintain a healthy heart for everybody for everyone how you can keep your heart healthy there are a lot of things the food plays a very vital role what are food you need to take and what are food you need to eliminate from your life to make your heart healthy that's the different part i have a lot of video on it i am giving the link in the i button as well as in the description you can go and check it but in this video i will show you five particular asana each and every day in the morning as well as in the evening if one can practice then if there is any issue with their heart that will be gone first is usharita padahasta asana separate your both legs just Three to three and half feet apart. Make your spinal cord completely erect. Inhale and exhale two times. Now interlock your hands behind. Now take a deep breath. Lean backward. Exhale. with the support of your both hands just you need to bend forward if it is possible for you then touch the head with your yoga mat or the floor stay in this posture breathe normal first 10 count then 20 count 30 count according to your capacity and capability place your both hands on mat in front of your torso inhale stay here for 10 count then slowly move your leg between your two hands bend your head stay here for 15 count inhale exhale completely one leg downward facing dog this is called the balasan from balasan raise your hip first with the support of your toe This is the more facing dog. Stay here for 15 count. Then put down your elbow. This is dolphin. Now slowly raise your one leg. One leg. Slowly raise your one leg. And stay here for 10 count. Then alternate your legs. left leg as much as possible for you lift it and stay in dolphin pose bend your knees go to balasan number 3 bandhan asan which is called setu bandhan asan as well it's a bit different from setu bandhan asan what you need to do lay down on mat as we know this is called the setu bandhan asan but in this asan what you need to do just lift your mm. hip by the support of your hand and stay in this posture for 10 to 15 count gradually increase it up to 30 count three times you need to practice next is fist pose mottasan with the support of your elbow 
start from this position, it will be easier for you. Put your crown, middle of the head, on mat. Place your both hands in Namaskar Mudra. Lift your both legs. Breathe should be normal. Stay in this posture for 10 to 30 count according to your capacity and capability. Three times you need to practice. Last one, reverse plank. Plank as we all know. So this is reverse plank. Place your both hands. Fingers, fingers of your both hands will be facing outward. Your legs should be your leg, your foot should be together. Now lift your pelvic. If you don't have any issue, then you can lean your head down. Otherwise, make a parallel line with your feet, torso and head. Stay for 10 to 30 count, three times you need to practice. So all this you need to practice regularly to make your heart healthy. I hope that you have understood what I mean to say and thank you so much for giving your valuable time by watching my video. Uh, keep watching, I will bring new video every week for you. Thank you. God bless you.